Hey, what's up, guys? I just want to show you how I upgraded my Lorex NVR from a 4 terabyte to a 8 terabyte. So, things you're going to need suitable hard drive. You can contact Lorex, a SATA hard drive cable from Best Buy I Got Mines, and a screwdriver. So see I had, I had four terabytes and I have extra storage now. So first thing you're gonna do is power down your NVR. Then there's a switch at the back. You switch it off. If you want, you can unplug the, the whole system if you feel more safer that way. There are four screws located at the back that secures the top. Go ahead and remove those four screws. Then you can, you can get the top off. So, see Lurex provide that plug and there's that space right there for your extra hard drive. Alright, so that's the SATA cable that I bought from Best Buy. I pay like $8 some market tax. Because Lorex doesn't provide it. Lorex only provide one with the with the present R drive. But there's an extra plug right there for an additional R drive. So I went ahead and bought a Western Digital uh, surveillance R drive. Then I'm going to. I'm going to plug up the hard drive first with that cable. The cable is kind of long, but you can find ways and means to route it or if you can get a shorter cable. Right, I'm going to plug the cable up to the hard drive. And the cable has special grooves, so you can make no mistake. It only can plug in only one way. So I plug that SATA hard drive cable and I'm gonna plug that plug that was there, the present that that was present. And that that cable, that plug also have grooves too, so you can make no mistake. So I plug it up and now I'm gonna find a way to to route that wire. Because as I said, it's long. So that's me trying to find the best way to kind of get it flat but if you can get a shorter cable that's good or you can just find a way to to run it so it, it gets flat so after several tries I I managed to get it how I want it another thing um the hard drive, the one that was present, the one that came with the NVR had four screws. So the new hard drive didn't come with no screw. Alright, I'm gonna plug that plug to the back, the one that I showed you earlier. Yeah, so the, the new hard drive didn't come with any screw, so I removed two of the screw from the previous hard drive and I'm gonna put I'm gonna use it to secure the new hard drive. And those screws, um, Phillips screwdriver can remove them. That's why I say you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver. So I'm gonna go ahead now and secure the new hard drive.
right, so I, I secured I secured the new hard drive. So there we go. We have four screws securing the to our drive. So I'm gonna go ahead now and power power my NVR on. That switch at the back that I that I switch off. I'm gonna go ahead and switch it on now. And once you switch it on, that that should power your NVR. All right, I'm gonna look at the lights at the front now to see that my system is running well. You have a, you have some light that indicates different stuff like power, hard drive, net. I'm waiting on my my cameras to come on now. It's a it's a 16 channel, but I only have 12 cameras, but they are well utilized though. There are no hidden space nowhere around my house. So you just do everything in the reverse order and put the cover back on and that's it. As simple as ABC. Thank you for watching.